into all these plots that got started and then dropped. <laughs> As you can tell from the intro, I am expanding my channel so that it includes read with Cindy, watch with Cindy, and travel with Cindy for after the pandemic is over. But watch with Cindy is going to be here because a lot of people seem to enjoy my movie reactions, so I'm going to make them more of a thing. The channel will be still mostly bookish videos, but I just wanted to be able to expand it a little bit and not feel constrained to just books. So that's a good thing for you, not for me though. I'm just going to be watching the Kissing Booth movies because apparently this is a franchise and they're not going to stop making the movies anymore. To match with the theme of this weird ass movie, I'm also wearing a weird ass outfit. I'm wearing a Snuggie right now because I figured since I'm going to watch this movie, I might as well be as comfortable as possible even when my eyes are extremely uncomfortable from what I'm about to witness. I really liked Rachel in the first movie. I thought she was so sweet, so pretty. She was such a good girlfriend. She was so supportive and apparently she's not that great in this movie and I'm afraid for what's gonna happen to her. Maybe her dumbass boyfriend isn't treating her properly. Hopefully Rachel will be okay. That is my only concern. Let's begin the movie right now. What is this? Open it. <laughs> this grown ass man went to the store, went to the little girl section and bought a tiny ass mini skirt. And at no point did he think, hmm, this might be kind of creepy. Where was Rachel to stop him from this foolery? Hey, boys, school's that way. Going to get Rachel. Oh. Why is she acting so weird about it? Of course he would pick up Rachel. Rachel's awesome. I would pick her up every day too. Oh my God, I love that blazer on her. It looks so good. It matches with her eyes. She looks so beautiful. All right, love. Aw, she's so cute. I want to take a peek at the new snack that just transferred in. Ooh, new snack. It's Marco, and he is seriously luscious. Ooh, his name's Marco. Okay, I want to see this guy. This new guy will determine whether I'm into this movie or not. Seriously? Hello? What's going on with you? What? <laughs> what do you mean, Dad? Not her calling him Dad. Not him pretending to be her father. Mmm, I don't like this. Oh, hey, he got a haircut. You know, he doesn't look too bad. Now he looks closer to how he was on Euphoria, but he was also an asshole on Euphoria, so that's not saying much. I don't want space. I don't want space. I want you. I, I want you around me all the time. I want you. I don't want space. I want a codependent relationship to suffocate me. The kissing booth is approved. Who you've selected for the lineup of kisses this time? Oh, she's gonna get closer to this Marco dude because she has to convince him to join a kissing booth. And then Noah is gonna show up later at the kissing booth. <gasps> Maybe Noah is gonna see her have to make out with Marco. I still don't know who this Marco fool looks like. Just show me him already. It's kind of different here. What do you mean? Well, uh, uh, what's wrong? Nothing, no, nothing's wrong. Just doesn't matter. Why is he so timid in this movie? What the hell happened to him? Did he get neutered or something? What's going on? As if I could get into Harvard. <laughs> no, my point being that, you know, get into Berkeley, maybe you can come to school here. Harvard as a backup school? Really? You think this bitch is capable of that? Good for you for believing in your girlfriend. That new guy, Marco? Someone snagged a video of him working out. Finally, show me the damn video. How hot can this guy actually be? He can't be that hot. 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 Whoa. Hello. This guy is a snack indeed. <laughs> Maybe an entree. <laughs> Maybe he's also the dessert too. See, I can't even make fun of her for being so public about her thirst because that's what this whole channel is about. I can't make fun of her because I talk about fairy dig on this channel on a public forum all the damn time. Who uses his own glitter? Glitter? Pack it up, Edward Cullen. How do they even record a video that up close and in such like high quality? Like this wasn't just some random video that someone at the gym recorded. This was like a cinematic experience. I'm more impressed by the cinematography than his muscles. Not really a butt person. <laughs> oh, oh, like now I understand people who are. Whether to lick it, smack it, oh. bite it. Bite it. I, just call me an earthquake. Because I am legit shook right now. Whoa. Dude, this whole monologue is basically favorite from A Court of Thorns and Roses. Ass person, biting it, 
shook like an earthquake. It has it all. <gasps> That's him? Interesting. I need to see more in order to make my final conclusion. He's not my type. He kind of looks too preppy for my taste, but we have to see what his personality is like. <laughs> Rachel is so cute. Look at how concerned she looks when the main character is being a dumb bitch. That's true kindness right there. You got nominated for Homecoming King. What? Who the hell put your name on the ballot? I did. Aww, look at how much faith she has in her boyfriend, thinking he could make it to prom king. Even the delusion is so cute. Guys, yo, say hello to Elle. Hi, Hi. Hi. Hello, boy. Hello. Ooh, Chloe's cute. Dude, don't even be worried about her. She's like way too good for him. I don't even know her, but she's way out of his league. Chloe. Ooh, she's so pretty. Click on the selfie. I want to see more of her. Oh my god, is that a fashion shoot? Damn, she's a model. Dude, she's so pretty. Let's look through more of her Instagram. <laughs> Except you're jealous and I'm just admiring. I'm not sure I even want to see this. Holy crap. That's a lot of money. How is this bitch worried about Harvard tuition expenses when her house looks like that? She's acting like a poor girl when she literally lives in a mansion. And there it was, a way to make a boatload of money that could help cover the cost of school in Boston. I don't know what it says about the state of our country <laughs> that this girl feels like she has to win a dance competition in order to afford college. This is just sad. What do you want to be in five years is a difficult question to answer. It's a difficult question to answer because you have like no personality. <laughs> and if I'm not sure what I am right now, how could I possibly know what I want to be in five years? Wait, that's basically what I said. She has no personality. How is she supposed to figure out who she's going to be in five years? I'm glad you're making friends out there. And in two more sleeps, I get to come see you and meet all of them. Yeah. Ooh, does that mean we get to meet Chloe? Oh no, I want to get to know them. Well, one of them, at least. Yeah, I want to get to know Chloe too. Probably not for your same reason, but meh. The best. Oh, she's gonna realize that he's a really good dance partner that she could use to win the dance competition. You think Rachel would do it? Oh shit, Rachel. What? No, 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 no. Oh my God, how could you forget about Rachel? Dude, that's so shitty. Oh my God, look at how sad she is. Dude, I'm so mad for her. I'm so mad for her, dude. She deserves better than this. It's not just tonight. She's always inviting herself or just showing up. She's lonely. I can't just tell her that we don't want her hanging out with us. But you can leave me standing at the movie theater for 45 minutes just fine? <gasps> she do got a point. She do got a point. What movie was it? I'll go to the movies with you. If you can't make your best friend understand that this relationship is important, then I don't think we have a relationship. Rachel, I can't just, just tell her- figure it. out your priorities, Lee. If I'm one of them, then go and tell Elle that I am. Oh. Rachel, you're my priority. Maybe she should go to the theaters with Marco. Hmm. Or Chloe. Hmm. When we leave here, I was thinking like, if it's okay with you, I'm going to treat you like my own personal jungle gym. No, 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 I don't like that. Not the jungle gym. I got a jungle down there too, but it ain't the gym. It's just a wild forest. No man has ever dared to venture unless he wants to floss. Oh my God, they're naked for real. Not in my Christian suburbs. The only person I wanted to meet isn't here. Yeah, I wanted to meet her too. Where's she at? <gasps> she looks so good. Oh my God, look at her body. Dude, she's so sophisticated. Uh, yeah. It's so good to see you. Yeah, 
Dude, he looks like a homeless person next to her. You don't even have to worry about him. I have heard so much about you. Seriously, my God, you're gorgeous. She's so nice too. You're both gorgeous. I love you already. Too bad this one here is so ugly though, isn't it? Oh my God, she got a sense of humor too. She got a pair of working eyeballs. She knows that she's way out of his league. Dude, the main character needs to stop being so jealous. She seems like a cool person. She has tons of interesting stories. I really hope that she doesn't turn out to be bitchy because she seems like a cool person. But mm, now that I think about it though, I do find it suspect that she seems to hang out with only guys, you know? I don't want her to be like a pick me girl. So hopefully she has other female friends as well. Here's to Elle kicking ass at her interviews tomorrow. Let's do it. Yeah. Tell you whose ass I'd like to kick. I want her to kick my ass. <laughs> anyway. Elle, yeah. Do you mind if I give you a piece of advice? My piece of advice is to just have one female friend. I'm fucking begging you, just one female friend. Can you talk to at least one other female character in the story that's not about a dude? Are you capable of that, Elle? Can you just do this one thing for me, Elle? And then maybe, just maybe, you'll grow a fucking personality for once. Ooh, what's she about to find out? Something belonging to Chloe. Ooh, even Chloe has nice taste in jewelry. <gasps> Ooh, did Chloe text him? Oh my God, if she looks through his phone, she should ask Chloe where she got the earring from. Dude, this seems like a normal conversation. What is she so butthurt about? Hey, is everything okay? I gotta get to the airport. <laughs> is he not supposed to talk to any girl at all? Girl, you're too fucking stupid for Harvard. <laughs> Dad, I just wanted to explore my options, okay? Hmm, how about this, L? How about you pick a college that's not based on any guy? Not who you're dating, not who you're best friends with. How about you pick a college that you actually want to go to and maybe a college that's suited for your intelligence level? Because I think UC Berkeley and Harvard is shooting a little bit too high. I guess I was looking at this whole life that you have out there without me. I'm definitely not used to seeing you around all those college girls. Dude, that was like one college girl. <laughs> just one. Oh, I told you, Chloe's just a friend. How did you know I meant her? Because there was one girl. <laughs> what the fuck is this conversation? Oh my God, this is so stupid. <laughs> That's so nasty. I hope he washes his hands during this pandemic. I don't think so. I know we were gonna go as s'mores for the Halloween dance. I think we have a winner. Oh, that's so cute. I have a different idea for our Halloween costume that I wanted to run by you. Wait, what different idea? Does it include Rachel? The costume needs to include Rachel. Should we do it? Obviously. You would love it because I just know you so freaking well, dude. Oh no, I'm just so afraid Rachel will be left out again. Is uh, Noah around? I think he went to a concert. I guess he left his phone here. Who goes to a concert and leaves their phone behind? That's weird. Any idea who he might have gone with? I think he went with Chloe. Dude, that's totally fine. He's allowed to go to a concert with a girl. It's not that deep. Just kind of going through some stuff right now. Okay, but that's not his problem. That's not our problem either. We're just here for Chloe and Rachel. I don't like making plans. I'm just kind of roll with things. What do you want to do? Not sure. You happy, I guess? Aww, I like that. He has his priorities straight. It's not about what you wanna do, but it's more about what makes you happy. But I gotta say, you inspire me. Okay, I wouldn't go that far to say <laughs> she inspires him. Moonshot. Feels like pressure. Aw, I like him. I've decided that I like him. He seems very nice, very laid back. Seems like a good dude. But if I found someone who I loved, I'd never make her feel like that. When would I get away, huh? I, I don't see it like that. You can't really hold on to someone. Because the tighter you hold on to them, the more they want to slip away. All you can do is love them and make sure they know that you're never going to slip away. Ooh, look at him spouting wise words. Yeah, you don't own people. You don't hold on to people. Oh my God, dude, he's so smart. I like this guy, I like this guy, I like this guy. Let's hook him up with Rachel or Chloe. He's good looking, he's emotionally intelligent, he's talented. Damn, look at his eyelashes. Look at that 
facial structure. His chin could cut open a can. He just put his jaw against the tomato soup and he's got it. Save the city, boom, that's how we do it. <laughs> Dude, how did you not even tell her? You're so fucking stupid. Screw him. He's a dumbass. I will be the other s'more costume for you, Rachel. I love Rachel's little marshmallow hat. That is so freaking cute. I think that her costume is better than theirs. Okay, am I just like way too chill when it comes to relationships? Because I think it's totally fine for her to dance with another guy. Maybe I'm way too cavalier when it comes to relationships. And maybe that's why I'm not in one. Okay, yeah, now this is getting weird. You better not kiss her. You better- <gasps> You better not kiss her! No, no, they're not gonna do it. They're not gonna do it. I don't believe it. I believe in the true love between the main girl and Flynn. <laughs> Oh my god, pay attention to Rachel. That's so sad. She should go dance with Marco. Hmm. Look at me shipping characters that have never interacted with each other. I had Lee switch it up at the very end. You know, you just couldn't do as you were asked, could you? But he never asked her. I got out with you around. I literally can't spend a moment alone with my own boyfriend. Aw, but that's not her fault though. That's your boyfriend's fault. Rachel has been properly communicating her issues since the very beginning and he barely did anything in return. And now this is happening. Yeah, it is her earring. We already knew that. Now ask her where she got it from. Bitch, it was like a single earring on the floor. It's not that deep. It's not that deep, dude. You don't know how it ended up there. Maybe she was hanging out in his room and then that fell, I don't know. Anyway, where should get it from, Etsy? Just let go. Not this montage in the background. What is this green screen foolishness? Girl, this is DDR, not ballroom dancing. I thought this movie was about a kissing booth. Whatever happened to that? Did we just throw away that plot entirely? Oh my god, he's watching? He's in the audience? Oh shit. Oh shit, something's gonna happen and he's gonna realize it's borderline romantic. He came to surprise her, but it turns out he's gonna be the one surprised. Hmm. <gasps> he's gonna kiss her, he's gonna kiss her, he's gonna kiss her. Bitch, bitch, I'm fucking calling it. I'm calling it right now. He's gonna kiss her. Do it, do it, do it for the drama. Bitch, she was the one who kissed him? Mm-mm, mm-mm, nope, nope, nope. You can't do that, dude. You can't do that. It would be one thing if he kissed her, but she shouldn't have been the one initiating the kissing. Mm-mm, she fucked up. She fucked up for real. But who can blame her? Who can blame her? <gasps> he brought Chloe? The scandal. Ooh, her outfit is so good. You know what? You need to leave Lee out of this. Why are you acting like I'm the one that did something wrong? That's right. He didn't actually do anything wrong. I can't believe I'm on his side for this. I don't even know why you're mad at me right now. So you're just gonna pretend that Lee never told you that we needed space from you constantly hanging around us? No, he never said that. He never said that. Dude. Lee, you never... Lee ain't shit. You lied to me. And you let me say all of those horrible things to her. See, and the first thing she thinks about is how guilty she feels for saying those things towards the main girl. Because she could own up to her shit, unlike some people. I heard what you said at your birthday party when Elm ran out. It's like with Rachel. What if I didn't like having her around? What would you do then? I guess I'd break up with her. Oh, yeah. oh, hell no. Dude, that is such a slap in the face. Because I can't be in a relationship with you and Elle anymore. It's just too much. That's right. That's right. You better fucking walk off. You are better than this. You are better than him. He's like a two and you're a 10 out of 10. Get the hell out of there. I found Chloe's earring. Oh my God. Where did you find it? Under Noah's bed. 
Yeah, but there could be an explanation for this. What I'm most thankful for is that I found the earring before I did anything crazy, like rearrange my whole life for someone. Girl, your entire story is rearranging your life for another person. If it's not him, it's for your other best friend or for the other dude, it doesn't fucking matter. You don't have a brain. Where are you going? To fix something that's actually worth saving. Oh my God, is she going to go to Marco? Ooh, ooh. And with Noah gone, I was just... Yes! Hell fucking yes, dude. That's what this movie should be about. It's about Rachel. I believe in Rachel's supremacy. Dude, she's such a pretty crier. The idea that I had something to do with you guys breaking up, I, I it's no. I, we did this. That's right, that's right. I can't believe that she thought that I'd actually cheat on her. Listen to me. Ooh, Chloe's about to drop some wisdom. Just to give you things from Elle's point of view, you used to have quite the reputation. Yes, Chloe! Yes! And then she finds my earring, which couldn't have been very helpful to a woman who's missing her guy all the way on the other side of the country. Exactly, dude. Exactly. Chloe knows what the fuck she's talking about. I gotta hang out with Chloe and Rachel. But you wanted to go to Berkeley. Being away from Noah was so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Wait, but why else would you want to go to Harvard? Because she hasn't provided any other reason why she would want to go to Harvard other than to just be with him. That's not enough of a good reason to go to a college. Because what happens if something, you know, like what if you break up? Then what was that all for? Do you even like Boston? Does Harvard have any particular program that's exceptional in the major that you want to study in. We literally know nothing about this shit. Here's wishing that Rachel will give me a second chance. I don't wish for that. I hope she finds someone better. When the war's too hard God, this movie's so goddamn long. When does it end? Holy shit, it just keeps on going and going. I don't even know the names of these people. They look the same. Holy shit, they look like they could be twins. I know how being afraid can hold you back from getting what you really want. Wait, <laughs> so because she saw a gay couple kissing, that inspires her to go back to her toxic boyfriend? All right. She goes to the airport and he goes to the kissing booth and they miss each other. Hmm. Is that him? What did he say? <laughs> he said the kissing booth. So she's literally just running back and forth. She went all the way from the kissing booth to the airport and now she's going back from the airport to the kissing booth. This took like a minimum of three hours. Who has the time? Why couldn't you have just texted him that you're going to the airport and then this would have saved the whole trouble? Think of all the gas mileage you just took up. <sighs> Is the movie over yet? I'm so tired. I feel like this was 10 hours off of my life. In five years, I want to be my brother's joy. Your brother's joy? He literally hasn't appeared in this movie for longer than three seconds. I want to be my dad's love. Your dad has not been in this movie for longer than a minute. And my mom's warmth. You haven't mentioned your mom in this entire movie. Who are all these people that you're bringing up? Because we were not spending time with them. I want to be Rachel's kindness. Okay, yeah, Rachel's kindness. That's a good thing to aspire to. She is a sweet, sweet angel. I want to be Noah's courage. Yeah. And his mom's wisdom. Eh. Is it gonna end on a cliffhanger? We're not gonna know which school she goes to. Oh my god, what a juicy cliffhanger. Wow, I'm shaking at the edge of my seat. Oh my god, this is gonna keep me up at night. Wait, Marco never even did the kissing booth. What happened to all these plots that got started and then dropped <laughs> in the middle of nowhere? I was so absorbed by this movie that I almost forgot to mention the sponsor for this video, which is NordVPN. If you don't know, NordVPN provides super fast servers. There are over 5,500 in 60 countries. You can use it to unlock Netflix and your favorite entertainment website so that you can watch movies like The Kissing Booth and you won't have people tracking your history and knowing that you watched The Kissing Booth. There's 24-7 customer support 
report, there's no data logging, and if you don't like it for whatever reason, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. There's up to six simultaneous connections, and you can also get double data encryption so that you can stay extra anonymous in the case that you, once again, decide to watch The Kissing Booth on Netflix. Every purchase of a two-year plan will get you four additional months for free. All you have to do is go to nordvpn.com slash readwithcindy and use the code readwithcindy at checkout in order to get the deal. By the way, speaking of movies, I started a letterbox account so that I can keep track of all the movies that I'll be watching throughout the year. So if you want to check that out, I'll have it in my description. Otherwise, unsubscribe from my channel. Goodbye. Oh,